Hi and welcome to this week's project. In this week's project I'm going to be casting some pen blanks. Um, as you will all know I bored you with the fact of this pressure chamber um, but one of the reasons just one, because there's many reasons I wanted the pressure chamber. But one of the reasons I wanted the precious cha the pressure chamber, not precious chamber, my words are terrible. The pressure chamber is to cast resin that would be able to be pushed into voids in the wood. Like this. This is a slice of a Banksia pod. Um, my dad had a couple hanging around that he gave me and I sliced them up and they're sliced to about 22 mils um, because my blank size um, is 20 mils normally about 19 20 mils by the time I uh, cut them down to size um, so I, I cut these up they're about 22 mils I'm going to use this mould, I'm going to slice these down, get them into the mould, probably be two I'm going to put in there. I'm then going to mix some resin up, I've got the last of some old resin that I've got, um, epoxy resin, before all my new stuff starts to come in. So I'm going to use the remnants of what I've got left there and make some pen blanks. Now. The Banksia pods I've never tried to turn before, so this is going to be a two-part video. The first part I'm going to show you my casting of this and cut, getting them all cut up and we'll see what they look like after. And then I'm going to do another video of me turning them because I'm not sure with the Banksia pods how easy they're going to be to turn or how hard they're going to be to turn. Um, so what the idea really is is to get these done um cast up today and uh then there'll be a second video which will follow this the whole what i'm hoping with these is that it'll be in one week one day you'll have me casting the next day or the day after you'll ha you'll see the next video of me turning the project so we can see how they come out because the plan is for these in the future is to sell them um, I'm hoping to either, I'm unsure if I'm going to be opening a, a separate website for all my sales or if I'm going to do it through my Etsy. Um, but certainly um, pretty soon these will start going up onto Etsy but I need to be able to turn one so that I can tell customers how they turn um, and so that it maybe make people aware of maybe any pitfalls that will happen with these when you're turning them. So I don't use stabilised wood, I don't need to with this epoxy. I'm not saying I won't use it in the future, but at the minute I don't. Um, and I'm going to see how we get on. I might do a couple of castings in the future where I stabilise the wood first. But obviously that adds to the process, adds to the cost and the end cost of the blank at the end. So I don't really want to do that unless it's a necessity. So anyway. I'm going to go away, cut these down to size and get them into the mould and then we'll come back for the mixing up and getting the resin in. Okay, well that's us back now. I've cut these down to size in here. Now these might float a little bit. So I used just a bit of an on-off cut of HDPE to sit on the top of there and put a bit of sellotape around it just to hold it down. Um, that tends to work brilliant to be quite honest with you um, yeah and that just I use a rubber mallet and it just knocks off at the end um, so it's quite simple so I've got a measuring tape bought some new ones today um, these are disposable as well but anyway it'll uh, it's a little bit bigger because I need something a little bit bigger for this um, I've got colours, I'm going with purple for this one, which is the violet alumilite dye. And then some uh, reflex, yeah, reflex violet is, oh, that's an empty one. Look. Right back. This is shimmer violet. 
um, which actually goes a, it's like a black that reflects in it so it's quite nice stuff that so and obviously this is the old epoxy which is uh, the low viscosity anyway it's the arts for resin one there's no point in me trying to say words I can't say so and I'm just using the last I had to empty it into a container here so I've just got the hardener and the actual resin so I think I'll probably need roughly about a couple of about 250 mils wise but I have to go in weight so I'm going to first put this in because I'm not quite sure how much of this one that I have. So I'm going to see where this takes us up to. That's actually 190 and I don't think we need 190 grams. I didn't realise there was quite as much there. 190. No, hold on. Empty a bit of this out. Right, 162. Um, so it's two parts A to one B. So that I need 80 of B now. Lid on this. It's amazing how big these containers are. So 80 will take us up to 242. Perfect. So she took us up to 243 with his dot on. So now we'll give this a stir. Doesn't look like much resin in there. But anyway. Heck of a lot easier in a big container. Right, we get some colour in. I like them quite opaque because um, it's important that we can't see through it with it being a pen blank. I mean, you we, you could paint the tubes, but I actually don't like to do that if if I don't have to. And that's the purple in. Let's get some shimmer going. Gives it quite a bit of shimmer. Right, so we'll give this a good stir and then we'll be ready to get it into the mould. I bought um, this particular resin in five kilograms and it's actually lasted ages. And when you order it in the bigger amounts, it's the same with this new resin that I'm moving on to. And when you order it in bigger amounts, the, the bigger amount that you order, the, the bigger the savings. So, and I like to have resin all the time here so that I can, if I decide to do a project, I can just get in and do it. This is not my first attempt at doing these pen blanks. The pen blanks have come out perfect in the other two sets that I've done, which I'll show you at the end. But um, because I was doing the videos after work, I clearly wasn't in my right mind. And the first time I did it, I thought, oh, great, I've got a great video there. And then for some reason, I switched the video off instead of on. So I didn't film any of it. 
Um, the second time I was just appalling. When I'm tired, the, the way I pronounce words comes out even worse than normal. Um, and it was just appalling. So I couldn't have that. Um, so let's hope this one goes well. Right, so that's it. Well mixed now. Um, let's get this into this mould here now. Not too worried how it goes in. Um, it should... The pressure chamber should get rid of all the bubbles. Oh, good bit. I'm so glad I wasn't in the way of that. Just making sure that the resin's got right underneath it. Just pour that resin in there. Right. As you can see, it is lifting. Lifting the wood with the resin underneath. So, um, I'm going to push that down. And sit this. Sit it that way. I'm going to put a drop of sellotape on there. Always have rolls and rolls of sellotape. And it's as easy as just pushing it on. Yeah, it might have been better without gloves. Okay. So that's that. Done. I'm going to go get that in the pressure chamber now. And you will see it in a few minutes. And um, I won't see it until tomorrow. So anyway, we'll come back and we'll have a look um, and get it demoulded. Okay, I've just, uh, this is the next morning for me, I've just unscrewed these, I haven't looked at this blank yet, so let's have a look. Ta -da. Very nice, nice, nice. Right, let's get this out. Move this aside. Looks lovely. Pressure chamber just does such a great job. Right, I'm going to go away and demold this and <clears throat> I'm going to show it you before I slice it up and then we'll have a look what's inside. Okay, that's it demolded when the front just knocks out that bit there. Um, not a lot to see right at the minute. So I'm going to go away and slice it up and then we'll have a look at it. Okay, that's them all <coughs> sliced up. They're roughly around 120 by... They're just over 150 millimetres long, these ones. Um, I could have them a little bit shorter, really. I'll do a little comparison of some of the tubes. I have some tubes here. This is Sierra tubes. So as you can see, there's more than enough for two Sierra tubes in these moulds. Right, I wanted to try and um, show you that. And I mean, all that dot says all resin. 
there is there you can see there's a, a tiny dot um, and there might well be dots in between but I'm hoping to do CA finish on these and I'll be able to cover bits like that but we'll see when we get in um, I think that would have happened with stabilised or unstabilised I might be wrong but I think it would have happened either way because it's just about the resin getting in there and <clears throat> you can really see how good um, the pressure chamber is um, because these were all voids and they're now all full it's actually beautiful wood I hope they um, the pens turn nice on them and that's uh, the final one so in part two of this video which will follow on within a couple of days of this one because um, I'm obviously filming way ahead here um, I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn, well I'm going to drill and get them onto these and we'll, we'll see how they come out. I'm probably not going to put them straight onto a pen because I'm wanting them for photographs. Um, so that was the purple ones anyway. I also did, this was the red, I did this one's first. Uh, slight discrepancy there. On the red. There's only three of those because I gave my dad one. That was the first set I did that the video didn't come out of. So, and then I also did blue. That one's come out particularly well. Don't know how well you're seeing these because the light's not brilliant and it's an awful dull day out. Is that any better? Probably. So yeah, so that's the, all there anyway. So I did in this, um, I don't think that light makes any difference because it makes it worse. Um, so in this video anyway, I did the purple ones and I'm going to go away and turn those into a pen and let's see if uh, they come out all right and see how well they, they actually turn. So anyway, there'll be a part two onto this and we'll... Uh, get the pen blank done and um, I will probably do once I get it to round I'll probably do mostly a life um, an in time sort of it won't be time lapsed or anything so that I can talk to you throughout about how I feel about the banks all right hope you enjoyed this first part anyway and like I say if you like it give me the thumbs up if you don't give me the thumbs down please subscribe if you haven't already feel free to share Thank you very much for watching and see you in part two.